Bluetooth headphones, noise cancelling, and extra bass. Could this be your ticket to enjoying booming bass music without getting any noise complaints? Let's find out in this review of the Sony MDR XB 950N1. Hi there, thanks for joining me once again. MC here for Steel Falcons Gaming and today I will talk about headphones, which to me is essential gear to enjoy games, music, and video. Now, for all my headphone reviews, I will be talking about what comes in the box, the overall design and features, the sound quality of course, the price and value for money, and ultimately, is it worth buying? So, now that is all set, let's get on with this review. So this is the Sony MDR XB 950M1, a set of Bluetooth headphones with noise cancelling and extra bass. And when they say, when Sony says extra bass, it says right here on the box. They're not kidding. It really is extra bass and you can feel it once you try it on, right? Once you try it on and play some music. And that is the defining feature of these headphones. So let's see what comes in a box. Um, so this is the box of the 950N1s. Uh, it's really nice, really simple, no frills packaging, nothing fancy. And I don't really mind. Um, what mat matters is the product itself. So aside from the headphones, of course, um, we get the headphone cable just in case you will use this wired um, if the battery goes dead on you and then we have a USB cable for charging and we also get uh, a carrying pouch just in case you will be traveling or you will be carrying the headphones around with you as you go and that's it uh, enough for me no more, no less than what you need. Onto the design, first thing you'll notice is that these are huge. They're really big. Let's put this on. You can actually cosplay as Princess Leia with the big earbuds right here. Just put in a robe and you're good to go. Um, uh, the build is primarily plastic. Big round ear cups connected by a thick headband here. Uh, with some metal running up inside for support. Um, each cup has thick memory foam synthetic leather ear pads and some cushion also on the inside of the headband. Uh, combined, that translates to headphones that are really comfortable to wear. The clamping force is just enough that you can wear this for long stretches of time. Um, it's really comfortable. Uh, it may look heavy uh, once you have it in your hands, but once you put this on, this is really light and comfortable. The cups swivel inward, but that only helps for resting the headphones on a desk or maybe putting it in your bag like this. Um, as far as wearing it around your neck, well, hell no. Uh, even fully extended right here. You can see, I, I have a thin neck, but um, it's really tight, even if you swivel it this way. Uh, so, this is really not for wearing around your neck. Either you have the headphones on your head, or, or not. So, for storage, you can fold the ear cups, and then put that, put the headphones, inside the carrying pouch and then you're good just put it in the bag and it should be enough protection uh, for scratches and so on on the right ear cup you have the toggle switch to pause or play go forward or back one track it also has a volume control to turn the volume up or down one step at a time on the left ear cup uh, we have the power button the bass effect button the micro USB port for charging, the headphone input or jack, 
and then the noise cancelling on and off button. Also, the left ear cup is the NFC logo. So just touch an NFC enabled device here for easy pairing. You can also pair by pressing the power button for about 7 seconds. Then connect via Bluetooth settings of your mobile device. Just a bit of a warning, um, the first time you pair this to a device, the volume is set to max with the bass effect on. So that can be a real shock if you're not prepared for it. My tip is, don't wear it yet. Pair first, turn the bass effect off, and set the volume to about 30% and then wear it. Just turn the volume up uh, to the level that you prefer um, afterwards. The noise cancelling feature, while not on the same level as say the MDR-1000X or the QC35, it is good enough. Uh, good enough that I always keep it on. Um, moderate street noise is blocked out. Indoors, you get rid of the hum of the air conditioning, snoring of a roommate and so on, and all sorts of background noise. Um, combine that with the bass heavy sound, and it is easy to tune out wearing this uh, for hours on end. On to some technical stuff. These have 40mm drivers with impedance of 35 ohms. So you can hook this up to a mobile device wire wire. When you run out of juice, no problem. Um, the frequency range or the frequency response is from 20Hz to 20kHz. And for battery life, you get 22 hours of continuous use from a full charge. And it takes about 7 hours to fully charge from empty. Now, the most important thing, the sound. Um, with the bass effect off uh, and without any enhancements, the bass on these babies already punches through. The sound signature overall is warm, but the mids and highs are still present with acceptable clarity. With the highs a bit tamed in combination with the noise cancelling, you avoid hearing fatigue, so that helps for extra long listening sessions. While these headphones are best used listening to club music, rap, hip hop, R&B, EDM, there is no issue using these for listening to other genres. You will also have an entertaining time watching movies at home or on the go and for gaming, uh, except maybe for first-person shooters. With the bass effect on, it pulls everything back, as if making an artificial soundstage, and at the same time, it further boosts the bass. While it works for rap, hip-hop, EDM, it doesn't quite work for other types of music. I found that the best way to enjoy the bass boost is through the Sony headphone app using the club setting. Simply put, it brings the club to you, the club experience to you except for maybe the food, the drinks, the sweat, and the human interaction that comes with that. Overall, the 950N1 delivers on its promise, as per the box, extra base. Um, so if you want a soup up sound experience, this is the one that you put on. On to the price, the retail price for this is $250. Sony recently released a version without the noise cancelling, so that would be about $50 cheaper. Um, even so, while the noise cancelling on the 950N1s is not as good as that of the QC35 or even the MDR-1000X, it still makes enough of a difference for me to shell out an extra $50 to get the 950N1s instead of that new 950 model. Um, also, at $250, it puts the 950N1s at the middle of the pack of Bluetooth headphones available at the market. It is about $100 less than the flagship noise cancelling Bluetooth headphones by Sony, Bose, and Sennheiser. It's a pretty good deal if 400 is a tad bit high for you. Now, on to the final question. Is this good for you? It certainly delivers as promised on the box. It is bass done right, which is consistent in the extra bass product line of Sony. If you love listening to hip-hop, EDM, or club music, this would be perfect. 
The size of the headphones, however, somehow limits the places and situations where and when you can use it. The sound signature, while amazing, limits the type of music that you can listen to. Its price at $250 also puts it a bit more expensive than some good wireless headphones without noise cancelling. Also, for just $50 to $100 more, you can get the top-of-the-line consumer noise cancelling Bluetooth headphones from Sony, Bose, and Sennheiser. However, again, the extra bass feature which is very good makes it stand out from all those mentioned. It all boils down to whether you are a bass head and whether you are okay with the limitations that it comes with. For me, I dig this. It's booming music out of the box and I don't have to rattle the whole house to enjoy my bass. I do recognize that this is not for everybody though. So I recommend that you bring your mobile music player, head on to your nearest store and try it out for yourself. While certainly not all of you will get this, I can almost guarantee that you will be impressed. And that's it for my review of the Sony MDR-XB950M1. I hope this review helped you in making a purchase decision and I hope to see you again next time here in Steel Falcons Gaming. Peace!